Shalom, Shalom. All praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, Debarna to the elders of Great Millstone, and peace and salutations unto the elect of the nation of Israel, unto the speckled bird is like to like the heathen nations across the four corners of the earth that has been scattered. And to you sisters that are listening and learning, and to all your brothers that are out there in the highways and byways, to y'all say Shalom. I just wanted to do a quick little video on this that I had came across on uh, End Time Headlines. Um, it says, Parents like biblical worldview puts children at spiritual disadvantage. Now, you know, what y'all see in the photo, it looks like it appears to be like, you know, um, Edomites. But, you know, as the scriptures say, um, you know, the uh, flesh profit of nothing, you know, and it just not according to appearance, but judge righteous judgment because it says in the book of Jeremiah, um, our heritage, you know, looks like a speckled bird, man, you know, we come in di different colors because we have been scattered, right? But anyways, this video is only for the Israelites, who you call black, Hispanic, Native American, you know, it's the seed line that makes you Israelite, the, the bloodline, the, the lineage, you know, family tree. It's not a spirit. There's no such thing as a spiritual Israelite. I just want to clarify that, you know, bring that understanding to light, you know, because you have some people that teach that or I've, I've heard that. I don't, I'm not saying anybody particular, but I've heard it. But, you know, I just wanted to clarify that the Gentiles in the New Testament are Israelite foreigners, Israelites that don't know who they are. So we were once Israelite foreigners before we knew this truth, you know. But, um, yeah, man, you know, as it says, parents lack a biblical worldview puts children at spiritual disadvantage. Well, first and foremost, um, the scriptures is not given to everybody, right? He will reveal it for them into a secret, uh, his prophets, man, in his service to prophets. Let's get that. It says, uh, Amos chapter 3 and verse 7, it says, Surely the Lord power would do nothing. But he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. So, you know, first and foremost, hey, to be a prophet, you have to be an Israelite. You can't be a heathen or be a nation outside of the Israelites and be a prophet. There's no such thing. Now, you do have, you know, so-called white pastors and, you know, other races of people that are claim their, claim their pastors and Christians and their deacons and stuff like that. But that's not how it's supposed to be. We live in a world that's run by the wicked. Pursuant to Job chapter 9, verse 24. A real prophet, a real prophet is going to be an Israelite. Let's get that. I think it's in uh, Amos chapter 1. Um, I believe it is. Uh, where is that at? Okay, this is Amos chapter 2, and verse 11, it says, And I raised up your sons for prophets, and of your young men for Nazarites. Is it not even thus, O you children of Israel, saith the Lord? You see that? So that's just, that's just one precept, you know, proving that uh, our only... A true prophet, uh, only um, the true understanding will be given unto an uh, Israelite, so really an Israelite man, because the Lord is not dealing with the women. He's dealing with the men, right? Let's get that. And uh, you got to be a woman, first and foremost. They had, you know, a woman on this picture look like teaching a child, which is not, you know, if you have a, uh, if you're an Israelite woman, you you know, you follow this truth and, you know, you, uh, you got a child, you, you maybe don't have no man, you know. You can teach your you can teach your child. You know what I'm saying? You can tell them. You know if they are uh, a little kid and stuff like that. It's not a sin. You know. Um. Let's get this in the book of Proverbs, chapter eight, and verse four. It says, "Unto you, O men, I call, and my voice is to the sons of man." You see that? So what is his voice? Right. His voice is these scriptures, the understanding. You know. Hey, it's 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 this is all Yahweh Shai. You know, I'm gonna get uh get that Ezekiel 34, I believe, and uh 31. So we clarified that that up. You have to be a Israelite. You got to be, you know, 
from that nation, and you got to be a man, first and foremost, to have the understanding, you know, and to be a prophet, you can't just be anybody, the Lord's not dealing with all people, it says, um, Ezekiel 34, 31, it says, and ye my flock, and the flock of my pasture are men, and I am your power, said the Lord, Yahabashim Yahabashai, you see that, so, you know, of course, most people, they're going to lack a biblical worldview. Uh, you know, because they're, they're, it's not given unto them anyway. Let, let's get that. And, uh, I think, I believe it's, what's it, Mark 4? I believe it is. It ain't given unto these other people, man. The Lord is not dealing with these other nations. Let me get that in uh, Amos 3rd chapter. Get that. It says, uh. Amos chapter 3, verse 1, it says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known out of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. You see that? So the Lord, only he only knows the Israelites. That's the only nation that he cares about. The Lord said, uh, believe in the book of Isaiah chapter 40, verse uh, 17, he said, The other nations are as the drop of the balance, man. They're compared to uh, spittle. The Lord don't care about the other nations, man. You know, contrary to, uh, you know, popular belief, which is, you know, God loves everybody. God will have mercy on everybody. Anybody can be a pastor. Any That's not true, according to the scriptures, man. That's not true. You know, and anybody can't get the understanding. Let's get this in uh, Mark and chapter. All of our people can't even get the understanding, you know. Because the Lord is only dealing with a remnant of the nation of the Israelites. He's not even dealing with all the Israelites right now. So what what, pe what makes people think that he's going to deal with all the other nations? No, it don't work like that. You know? It says, uh, Mark 4 and 11. It says, um, and he said unto them, unto you it is given to know the mystery of the kingdom of Yahweh, but unto them that are without, all these things are done in parables. It says that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand, lest at any time they should be converted. And this is talking about the Israelites. It's not even talking about the heathen. It says, and their sins should be forgiven them. Right? Only the Israelites' sins can be forgiven. Right? So, hey, you see that? So, it's only, it ain't even given to everybody. That's why the Lord spoke in parables. You know? A lot of these you know, you, a lot of these uh, Edomites or so-called white people that claim they're Christians, and they, and they may they may be able to fully quote a scripture like that. They may be able to they may they may be able to say it, say it word for word, you know. But they still don't have the true understanding. They just saying it and they ain't taking it as verbatim. A lot of scriptures that people read, it's not even literal. It's uh some things are literal, of course, and they, and they actually happen, but it still have a, a spiritual meaning, like another type of meaning to it. You know, so, you know, all the scriptures are brought up, of course, you know, and, and it's prophesied. Uh, it's prophesied for people not even to know these things, you know, it's prophesied, you know, for the world to be in uh, darkness. You know, let me get this in. Uh, I, I burn this out a lot, I, I think, Isaiah chapter 16, verse 2. It says, for behold, the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness to people, but the Lord shall rise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee. What is that? The wisdom of the understanding of the scriptures. So, you know, it says darkness shall cover the earth. What is that darkness? The darkness is them not knowing the truth. Them not uh, people not understanding. Them not paying attention to the times, you know. That's what that darkness is, you know. The majority of people, they're not going to understand. They're not going to seek Yahweh Shem Yahweh because why? They have been blinded, you know? They have been blinded, and the Lord did not choose them. And the Lord's not dealing with all nations, like I, like I just read. You know, he's only dealing with the Israelites. Out of all the families, you only have I known. You know? Out of all the families, you only have I known. Um, that's another scripture I wanted to get. <clears throat> Maybe, maybe I probably want to get, hmm, hold on, I 
Put this in the uh, I think it's Luke 22. That's the spirit, man. I just hopped right into Luke 22. Probably will read this, you know, later. <laughs> Lord willing. But uh, I'm going to read this. Luke 21 and verse... Thirty-five. Um, it says, "For as a snare shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the whole earth." It says, "And watch ye therefore, and pray always that you may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass, and to stand before the Son of Man." So, what is this talking about? It's talking about the day of the Lord. You know, when the Lord returns, man. They people's not paying attention to to prophecy. They they don't even know what prophecy even means. They don't even know, you know, how to look for it. You know, hey, you got you got men out there, particularly of Great Millstone. They out there on the highways and byways in every every city in America, man. You got them across the world too. So there's no excuse, but you know, the point is, is that it's not it ain't given to everybody, man. It ain't given to everybody. You know, it ain't given. It ain't given. There's another one that I had seen. Um, this one right here says the Bible is literally unfolding. In front of the whole world right now. Yeah, this is like a, you know, they post a lot of like good information, you know, about current things that's going on. Like and really not just mainstream news, but, you know, behind the scenes things, too. So that's why I do a lot of lessons on, uh, you know, things that this uh, end time headlines brings out, you know. So, like, that's, this is wrong in itself at the bottom. Anybody just can't get right with God, and the Lord has to choose you. You know, the Lord has to choose you. You can't choose the Lord, man. It's going to the Lord. Hey, the Lord, the Lord, the Lord's going is not a man. What the hell? <laughs> hey, that's, yeah, that's off, man. <laughs> they, that's, what people, that's what people think. The Lord's going is a, uh, Lord's going is a man. What the hell? <laughs> but, you know, it's a lot of for the language, but. Yeah, so this is, you know, the Bible is unfolding. It is happening. It's speaking loud and clear. But, you know, um, I, get this, I, want to, I want to get this in Isaiah, too. I think it's the sixth chapter. I believe. This is what the Lord said to our people, man. And if you want to get technical, the Lord put this on the heathens, too. Because he, well, he's never, he's like, he was never dealing with the heathens. He was never dealing with the heathens. The, all the nations outside of the Israelites. He was there. He was never dealing with them, but the Lord said this to two thirds of our own people, right? That's why you're not gonna have. You got different camps, you know, and all Israelites is not even gonna accept the fact that they're Israelite or you know be down with this. They're not gonna believe this because two thirds of our people it's written for them to perish. Let's get this in uh, Isaiah chapter six and verse nine. It says, and he said, "Go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not; and see ye indeed, but perceive not." Make the heart of those people fat and make their ears heavy and shut their eyes, lest they see with their ears and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and, and convert and be healed. You see that? So the Lord don't even want all of our people to get, the, get, get this understanding. So he blinded them on purpose. You know, you ain't gonna never hear this in the church. What is that? That's what that means when it says make the heart of those people fat. Make, make, it, make it fat, you know? Hey, make make that make uh wickedness be in their mind. Make them make them not have a uh not ha be, have a way to get around and understand this this truth. There's nothing that they could do if you ain't chosen by the Lord. There's nothing that you could do because you have been blinded by the Lord. You know, and especially if you're not an Israelite, man, because that's really what this is about. You know, you don't have a biblical worldview because the Lord is not dealing with you. That's why. But I'm going to close out. I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kakadash, the Bible, the Apostles, the Great Millstone, and peace and salutations to the elect of the nation of Israel, to the speckled bird Israelites that look like the heathen nations. To Yahweh, say Shalom, I'm going to say, why, blah, blah, blah.